what we are talking about. Skipper head sculpt. And of course, this is not the original Skipper because when Barbie first introduced their little sisters for Barbie, we had Skipper, Stacy, we had Todd, we had Kelly, we had a couple different younger characters that Barbie had produced and the head sculpt that they used for those characters that were being called Skipper at that time were completely different from this one here. But So this is the modern day most updated version of Skipper that we are referring to when we say Skipper sculpt, just to clear that up for some of you guys. And we're gonna start with one of my favorite Skippers in my collection and she is Zen. And Zen is the head that I use in my Make Skipper Doll Look older tutorial video where I showed you guys how to swap her head off of a standard skipper sized body and to place her onto an adult Barbie doll's body to make her look older and that's what I did with her and so she is not on her original body of course. This skipper had a kind of a tan complexion so I was able to put her onto a made to move first wave blue top doll's body and she's been on that body ever since and she loves it. And this doll, her hair quality is a little bit different from what we're used to, though it is saran hair. This hair is, I don't really know how to explain this hair. It's just very straight and it doesn't have any like flexibility, I guess. It doesn't like lay down. So if I tried to put it into a ponytail, it would just stick right out instead of laying down in the ponytail, if that makes sense for you guys. The newer dolls, um, kind of like this one here, just the quality of the hair is a little bit different and the way the hair behaves is different. There's more weight to the hair. So if I put this hair in a ponytail, the ponytail is going to kind of, you know, lay down, if that makes sense. Kind of like her, her, hers is. See, it's not sticking up in the air. So there just isn't that much weight to this hair. It is saran, but it behaves a lot like the Kanekalon type hair that they used to have for Barbie dolls back in the 90s. So I don't really like the hair quality on this doll, but that's part of the reason why I never do anything with her hair. I just kind of leave it the way that it is. And it came already with those bangs and the pink streaks in her hair. I don't really remember what version of Skipper she was. The thing I really liked about her was that she just naturally had a very mixed Asian and white girl look and she reminded me of someone I know who is half white and half Asian. I know a bunch of half Korean and white girls that I used to go to church with when I was in high school and you know they have very similar looks and I always envisioned her to be like an older teenager to me just I don't know I just didn't think it made sense to have her on the original body that she came with that just looked very underdeveloped so that's why I ended up swapping her head but funny thing because after I did that Mattel started making a bunch of dolls who weren't supposed to be skipper dolls they were just random fashionistas and they were using this head sculpt for face molds for those dolls that were supposed to be adult versions of Barbies and not teenagers. So I thought that was kind of interesting that they still ended up doing that anyway. And you can actually do the same exact thing with Stacy's head. You can put her onto our bigger body and it's not gonna look completely crazy, you guys. I promise. You can even do that with the, um, the toddler dolls, the ones that are like Chelsea size. You can take their heads and put them onto Stacy's bodies and make them look like they're a little bit older too. It works, the head sizes work. Then my next favorite in my collection is Kimber here. And Kimber has been newly rebodied onto a curvy body type, made to move. And she's wearing one of my son Jinu's clone shirts where he just does a bunch of different designs with the word clone on it. That's like our little Dollyverse name brand clothes that we made up for our dolls to rock kind of like Nike. Originally, she's the LA Girl Fashionistas doll that was ever popular when that doll was um, first on the scene. And man, LA Girl, I don't know what it was about this doll, but people were obsessed with this doll. And she was one of the first batches of the Fashionistas that came out with this skipper head sculpt put onto a adult sized body. The famous side shaved hair and the blonde flocking on one side, blonde hair everywhere else. And underneath it looks like this, like a diagonal, kind of cool. I don't think I ever bothered to even look at the underside of her hair, but that's kind of a cool little pattern there. And she's got a very pastel pink shade of highlights in her hair. Just like one big splotch right here in the middle. The rest of it is blonde. And I think she's just really pretty in the face. Pretty in the face. And um, she looks like she's got a little mole or like a beauty mark right there by her nose. 
I think she came that way. I can't really remember, but I think she did come that way because I don't remember putting that on her face myself. Her complexion is super duper pale. She is the same complexion as uh, Made to Move Purple Top Barbie. And originally I did have her on that Made to Move body when I first rebodied her, but then I saw that this curvy body was available, so I just had to see what she looked like as a curvy girl. And to be honest, I do really like her this way. Kimber's backstory is that she's based on some girls that we know who are, they're white girls that grew up in the hood. They identify more with like hip hop culture and they're just very believable hood girls. Not one particular girl, but I have like a slew of girlfriends who grew up in the hood, but they're straight 100% white girls. They're not perpetrating you guys. They're not, they're not acting. They're not like those girls who are just like rapper happy. So they just act like they're down with black people. No, these are really girls from the hood who are more comfortable in the hood than anywhere else, okay? I don't know, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but at least in the hood, being thick is not a bad thing, and sometimes girls aspire to thickness, so they're not as self-conscious about their weight in these environments because it's considered attractive to have some curves. And I felt like Kimber, being this hood girl, she would be a good candidate of my white girls to put onto this thick body and she would just totally own her shape. So that's why we decided to go ahead and experiment with that look for her. So this one is one of my newer Skipper dolls. She started off with an Afro puff hairstyle and I showed you guys this doll in my Afro hair collection dolls video which I featured six dolls in that video if you want to go ahead and take a look at that one then you're more than welcome to do that but since that video I did restyle her hair from her big Afro puff to these little twists so I just put twists all over her hair and this is how I, it ended up looking and this one I named her Betty I named her Betty after one of my old 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 elementary school friends or actually middle school friends Beatriz and her nickname was Betty and she just kind of reminded me of her a little bit I want to say she is an orange top skin tone but I know that that is not right because I have another doll that is orange top skin tone and she's a little lighter than her and so I'm guessing that I have the Lieutenant Uhura doll's body on her. Okay, I don't know who the heck's body this girl has. She's got made to move joints on her upper body, okay? But then on her lower body, only in the knees, she doesn't have the ankle joints. <sighs> she doesn't have the, the thigh joints here either. Whose body is this? I have no idea. I think one of my viewers told me that this looks like Lieutenant Uhura's body. But is that right? Cause I don't know. I feel like Uhura had something here she didn't have. Like some kind of joint here was missing maybe. I don't know you guys. I haven't looked at that doll's body in so long. I can't really remember. But her skin tone is a little bit darker than this doll, Sharia, who I named after my cousin Sharia cause she reminds me of her. They just look so similar. Like their skin tone is right there you guys. but she is just a slight shade darker than her. So I don't know. I don't think that this is like a yellow top complexion. It really doesn't look that way to me. But y'all, my eyesight is getting worse and worse over the years. So I don't know if it's playing tricks on me. I don't know what is going on. <laughs> I want to say this is like a yellow top skin tone because it looks a little darker, but I feel like yellow top skin tone difference is very evident to me usually. So I don't know if that's right. Let me see if I can find one. <sighs> All right, let's just... Let's just, let's just figure this out. So here's an actual original yellow top doll. And next to each other, yeah, they are the same color. Yeah, I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me. Okay, yeah, my eyes are just playing tricks on me, you guys. They are the same complexion. Okay, that's so weird. I don't know why, I don't know why I kept thinking she was lighter, but no, she isn't. It's the strangest thing. They are the same complexion. That is so bizarre. Well, I answered my own question there. So this must be Lieutenant Uhura's body then. And Sharia over here, she's got the orange top body. She is also a fashionista's head. They're both fashionistas. This one is from an earlier release. And she is the one that had the big curls on her hair. And I think she was called something coral or something. I don't know. She had on like a dress that was like black at the top and then like red at the bottom. It was a really cute doll. She was originally petite. I wish that there was a petite body I could use that was this skin tone to replace her onto. Cause I think she would be cute back on a petite body, but 
I don't have one and I think the only one that exists right now at the time I'm filming this that is available to the public is the Yara Shahidi doll which I missed out on so that's not gonna happen. It would be nice if they come up with some more MTM dolls that have that complexion, I would like that. Now this doll did start off with giant curls all over her head and they were pretty, but they were also very unruly. So I ended up giving her some baby hairs. Speaking of Sharia, my cousin Sharia is texting me right now while I'm filming this. <laughs> ah, shout out to my cousin. All right, anyway. She's got some handmade baby hairs, and I did do a tutorial showing you guys how I did this. If you are interested in learning how to give your dolls baby hairs as well. And then I box braided all of her hair up. She had tons of hair on her head, so it was quite a long process, but I had to kind of make the braids a little bit bigger so that I could save myself time in filling her entire head up. And she, she was very well rooted, so I didn't have a bunch of bald spots. Let's talk about Ember here. So she is one of the fashionistas that I did a review of when she was first purchased and she's got like platinum blonde hair color but it was a little confusing because when I got her I was like bro what's up with this? She had like black paint on her scalp that I guess was supposed to make it look like she had black roots with blonde dyed hair but to me it just looked very bizarre and uh weird i don't know i didn't really like that but i don't know i don't think that the barbie fans really minded that look because in real life sometimes girls really do have their hair like this where they have the dark roots and then their hair is dyed very very light colors so i guess it reflected that but i just thought it looked really bizarre i still think it looks pretty bizarre but <laughs> i kind of got used to it so i don't really pay any mind and unless like i like i just did if i part the hair then you can see it more but i don't really style her hair in a way where you can notice the scalp like that so i don't worry about it but if that were to really bother you you can actually go in between the the lines of the the rows of the rooted hair you can go in between and just paint her scalp whatever color you think that would be more um reasonable and if you use acrylic paints then it will dry within like a few seconds as long as you do very light layers so that's a way to fix that if it really bothers you. I think she came with these earrings because I don't recall putting those earrings in her ears. I don't recognize them from any other dolls. So she must have came with those earrings. I had never paid attention to them before. But she is on a standard made to move like pink top um, skin tone body for made to move dolls. I think all of my skipper head sculpts have made to move bodies because most of my skipper dolls are in my A and B groups of my collection. So they're pretty high priority on my um, collection. And this one is the last one that I have, which is Presley. And she has also the side shaved look going on like the LA girl doll did so if you missed LA girl this would have been a good substitute doll for you she doesn't have the diagonal um, part in her flocking in the back of the head it looks like more of her hair is actually rooted than LA girl's hair was and also it's a different color from the rest of her hair where LA girl had blonde flocking and blonde rooted hair this one has like that platinum blonde ashy kind of blonde look with brown brunette flocking color and very much like ember back there she also has the dark roots painted on her scalp so she's like a combination of the two of them almost um la girl and my doll ember here i don't know what her fashionista's number was she came out when all the fashionistas started having all these ridiculous numbers that no one can keep track of i don't know why but anyway so She's like a fusion of the two of them together almost. And I think she has a real like a rock and roll kind of look to her. I think it's really interesting to look at their face ups next to each other. So here are the ones that I have in the Caucasian skin tones. And Presley, she has the yellow tint to her skin. So for her, I'm using a BMR 1959 Kira Sculpt as the body donor. You can see with her green nails here that it's the Kira head sculpt that was originally on that body. There are three different skin tones though. They're all supposed to look like Caucasian skin tones. And you can see that all of them have very different face-ups as well. 
very distinguishable face hugs. It's, it's difficult to mix all of them up with each other, even though they do all have the same head mold. Face ups are everything, you guys. You can get so many different looks out of the same mold for the head, right? And actually, you know, Zen should have been in that little grouping with the other girls too, because she has a Caucasian skin tone, even though it's tan, but she's supposed to have a Caucasian skin tone as well. But yeah, so there's four different skin tones there with my Caucasian dolls in the Skipper sculpt. The Skipper head sculpt, this is one of my fa favorite sculpts by Mattel, honestly. And obviously I have so many of them as you can see because it's one of my favorites. But after doing these videos, I'm realizing I have too many. I don't need so many of the same head sculpts because most of the other ones that I have in the series that I've been showing you guys, I only have two of most of those dolls. Two or three dolls, I think I can afford to expand my collection and add a few more of those head sculpts if I ever come across them that I really like. But something like this, where I have a mob, a whole legion of them, it's completely unnecessary. I don't need any more skipper sculpts. Yeah, I'm saying this now and then watch. The very next doll I get is gonna be like one of these head molds that I've been telling you guys, oh, I have too many, I don't need any more, right? But I think they're really cute. Skipper by Barbie reminds me slightly, not quite, but just a tad, just a slight bit, reminds me of Poppy Parker by Integrity, which I have eavesdropping on our conversation here. Yeah, I don't know why. I feel like they don't look alike, but for some reason, I just sometimes get the feeling that it would be very believable that Poppy Parker is related to Skipper in some manner. I could believe that they were like cousins, you know? Is anybody else getting that? I don't know. I don't know why. I just It's just the a thought that goes through my head sometimes. Maybe it's like the shape of the head or the shape of the nose maybe. I don't know exactly what it is, but they just kind of remind me of like, she looks like the older sister slash like aunt of this head sculpt, kind of. Maybe it's just me. Mm -hmm. And look at Serafina. I, 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 I braided up all her hair. This is the one that I showed you guys in my tutorial, how to make her hair go from very, very tight curls to a little bit looser curls, make it look longer. And I was just curious, I wanted to see how her hair would turn out in box braids. So I braided it all up, and I think I'll leave it like this for a little while. Um, just as an experiment, I braided her hair and then I unraveled the braids to see if her curl pattern was lost, like did it become wavy instead? It really didn't. The hair still looked the same after I took it out of the braid. So I just went ahead and braided everything because I feel like when I take the braids down later, it won't really mess up her curl pattern significantly. So I'm okay with that. And here is Wailani. Yeah, I ended up re-straightening her hair and kind of trimming some layers into it on the sides because the ends of her hair was really curly and I just wanted to see how she would look with her hair straight. So I tried to make it very straight. I sort of achieved that look, but her hair still wants to curl kind of just on its own. So she still has a very, very slight wave to her hair, but it's not as much as it was before. Oops, I like it like that. She's so uppity. And I'll be showing you guys these dolls in more detail when I do my single head sculpts that I have as well. And of course, even though I have two Poppy Parkers, these guys didn't make the cut of my series. Well, unless you want to consider this part of it, but they didn't make the cut because they're not Barbie dolls. They're by Integrity Toys. And I just wanted to focus on my Barbie brand dolls in this series. You know what I'm saying? So... It is what it is, but that's okay. It's okay. Don't be upset, you guys. Okay, we don't. They're they're not good with uh, competing for attention. <laughs> and both of them are side glancing. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I really like taking pictures of them when I go out with them. They're very fun to pose and take pictures of. And I am obsessing over this one. Lately, she is so adorable. This is one of the BMR 1959 dolls, the last of the girls for me to add to my collection, not counting Millie. Millie is never, never a surefire thing for me in any collection. And this one, she was on sale for like 20 bucks. 
So I waited to get this one too. Anything that I'm not like, I need to have you, I'm gonna wait until the prices come down. Hopefully they do come down, but sometimes they go up. So you could just never really be too sure. But yeah, she's still on her original body and she's got a very, very tan skin tone, which I think is similar to this one. She's an orange top, made to move body. But I don't know, I mean, they're similar, but they're not quite the same. So I'm really not sure who else matches the skin tone, but somewhere in that range you guys that will conclude my sculpt study for the dolls that i have multiple head sculpts of meaning i have two or more versions of that sculpt then we'll be moving on to my single head sculpts okay y'all gonna end up seeing my whole collection like this uh oh somebody fell down down if you want to see all of the doll videos in this series if you if you just landed on this particular one and you want to see the other ones check out the playlist for this series and also it should be some suggestions coming up at the end of the video that you can click on as well to take you over to other videos in this series thanks so much for watching i'm gypsy you're watching Bokin dolly tv and talk to you later have a dolly day i come from a place where everybody had none i'm taking this thing to somewhere i can Jacked up and shouldn't have been on the road